Hi, my name's Lily. And my name's Ruby. And today we are very lucky to be joined by Kim O'Keefe, the Mayor of Shepparton. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> what are your first impressions on Boucher Street? I've been here many times, but what I do love is that there's so much enthusiasm and interest, particularly in my role and on council. But I love it that what they've done today, they've raised money for the family that lost things within that fire. So yeah. I love to see the compassion and the connection to those less fortunate. Yeah. Um, How has your week been so far? Anything exciting been happening? It's been really busy, Lily. It's been a flat out week. <laughs> um, every week's busy at the moment, but um, I get to do some really, really great things. There's lots of um, meetings and um, uh, community events that I get to go to. Uh, this weekend, I think I've told you, I've got five things on over the two days, and yeah. <laughs> which is great to see things happening again. <laughs> yes. Um, so have you ever been on a podcast before? Yes, I've done a few podcasts and I really enjoy it and I listen to a lot as well because yeah. I think they're a great connection and often to things that you don't often talk about. So it's great. Mm. So we work like to welcome you to Booster Street, Kim, and thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. <laughs> um, we would like to start off by asking why you wanted to become mayor. Yeah, look, I um, I was very fortunate to get uh, elected to council from the community and I could see going in deputy mayor my first year, it gave me a very good insight to what the role of the mayor would be. And I could see an opportunity, you know, if I could be the voice for our community and really do the things that I would love to do, you know, in a in, in more leadership manner, the mayor gives you that opportunity. But it's a big honour and it's a great yeah. experience. I can't tell you what the in- incredible experience it is, but it's such a broad role. Lots of reading and lots of things you need to be on top of, but also so many wonderful community events and that's the highlight being up amongst the community celebrating lots of things and um and just being the spokesperson for my fellow councillors and also the city of greater shepparton yeah we know that being mayor means important duties what do you think is one of the most important jobs at work Well, the most important job is representing our community to make sure that our community has a voice and we need to be part of that discussion always. So I think that's the most important thing, being connected to the community and being accessible. I really try my hardest to get out amongst the community, but often on Facebook I get inboxes, I get text messages, my phone's on the the website. And I think that's that's the most important thing, making sure the community feel very comfortable connecting to me and also to my fellow councillors. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Um, so Shepparton is really starting to turn into an amazing place and we just would love to hear from you what you think is one of the best parts of Shepparton. Yeah, so Greater Shepparton, remember we've got all our small towns as well and um, we're such a, a connected region. I think that's one of our strengths. When you look at people, I've got family that live in Melbourne, they don't connect to their community like we do. You know, we have such a, a wonderful, rich diversity and I think there's so much respect and there's so much opportunity for that to grow. You know, representing so many different nationalities. I think it's over 58 languages are spoken across Greater Shepparton. But, there's, you know, it is a place of opportunity and I think often we don't stop and think enough about that. But there is such in, such success here as well. We've had a challenging year, of course, post-COVID. But uh, with that comes opportunity and I think as a community we've grown from that experience and I think we've actually grown closer. We're there for each other and I think we'll continue to be to do so. Yeah, definitely. So being mayor must be a really hard job. What are the most challenging parts for you? Um, look, I think, number one, you can't please everybody all the time and sometimes yeah. you make decisions as a council or that are quite difficult and, yeah, and I think if you ever stop caring about that, you shouldn't be there. You know, sometimes I feel very, very, um, not sort of upset but also disappointed that you can't please everyone all the time. But in saying that, um, you know, I think... The biggest challenge is keeping up with a lot of the reading. You know, we have lots of reading and we have our briefings every Tuesday, council meeting once a month. And that's a really important role. You actually vote on things that affect people's lives. So you have to commit to the time. And for me, you know, in my role, because I love being the mayor and I love being at everything, um, time management, I have to really be mindful. You know, I really, I literally block out time to read my agendas and and make sure I have the time because I need to be well informed, you know, and the things that I'm particularly voting on for our community. Yeah, definitely. Um, So... Um, in inquiry lately, we've been doing some things based on just sustainability. Yeah, so we've been doing picking apart our four bins, our compost, our waste, our mixed recycling, and our paper bins. And many groups have been picking up rubbish around the oval, and many others. Um, yeah. So, what do you think Shepparton um, has that can make it sustainable? 
Yeah, so there's lots of things. We have to have a a livable and sustainable city and we have to make sure we're keeping up with a lot of our services Mm -hmm. and it's really important from a council's role that we are maintaining the city, making sure that our parks and gardens are clean and that the the bins are getting obviously collected and that informing the community to be part of that. And I think that's a big part of sustainability, making sure the community are also informed and aware of their role because it's a two-way connection. You know, we need to work together and we need to make sure, you know, we're doing our job the best we can and at times we need to be told we might need to do something better and that's getting back to being connected to community but also making sure you know the community are aware of some of our expectations and we have you know lots of consultations that go on and lots of things that we need to have a two-way conversation about and I think that that's what will make things more sustainable when we have that um, communication. Yeah. Yeah. So we sorry we have we were just wondering if you could share any big upcoming events if you are willing to about what's upcoming for Shepparton. Yeah, look, there's a lot happening and I think this is the thing that amazes me about being on council. We are involved in so many things and we collaborate with so many organisations. But of course, um, you know, we've got the new SAM building opening in October, the official opening, and that's an exciting time for our community because that building is going to give us so much opportunity to have so many different things, you know, within Mm. our community. So that's one of the big things. Look, we've got so many things happening, you know, within Greater Shepparton. And when you look at, you know, the year ahead and how we're going to recover from COVID, more than ever, we need to really, you know, show showcase our region and try and, you know, be sustainable as far as getting people back and, you know, hospitality, retail, tourism, those things that are going to need more support, I think they're the things we will be focusing on a lot rather than, you know, a big event. Yeah, that's great yeah. and it's important and Sam will be one of that. Um, there's other great infrastructure and we know the Motor Museum out the road, that that's extended and it's going to be a great tourism opportunity. But it's really, I think, about community recovery and making sure that we are supporting local business, making sure they've got the support that they need and what council's role can be in that space. Yeah. Um, so we have a game, if you'd like to participate. That sounds good. Um, called um, Secret Sound. So you have to try and guess the sound. Would you like to participate? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. What's this? <laughs> Kitten. <laughs> There's <Meh>. Cow. <laughs> Chook. <laughs> Pig. So that one was like animals in general. Yeah, okay. so you got that. <laughs> okay. Bed. A whistle. A whistle. Yeah, yes. a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and last one. Let's see which one. Knock on the door. Yes, that's yes. correct. <laughs> <laughs> so we have got another one last game to yeah. play if you're willing to. Sure. Um, it is a quiz ab- about Shepherd and, and its history. Yeah. So the first question is, what is the closest town to Shepparton? So the closest town would be Marupna. Yes, that's correct. Oh, good. I'm glad I got that right. (laughs) (laughs) Um, What type of farm animal is the statue of around Shepparton? The statue? Do you mean the cows? Yes. 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 (laughs) Okay. Yep. Um, So what's the oldest building in Shepparton? Oh, the oldest building. Bit of a tricky one. (laughs) It is a tricky one. There's quite a few older things in Shepparton. Hmm. I'm not sure that one. Um, so it's the Shepparton Heritage, Se- Heritage Centre. Oh, the Heritage Centre, yeah. yeah. The museum there. Okay, yeah. um, you probably know this one. It's what's the newest building? Well, that's an easy one, isn't it? The yes. same. <laughs> yes, it is. Good job. <laughs> um, from which early settler did Shepparton get its name? Shepparton, Mr. Shepherd. Yes, that's yes. correct. Sherbin Shepherd. Sherbin Shepherd, <laughs> yep. Um, what's the name of the street that the hospital is on? Graham Street. Good. Right. <laughs> yeah, and correct. last question, what is the name of the best primary school in Shepparton? Boucher Street, of course. Definitely. <laughs> 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 Good job. <laughs> okay, thank you for your time for this podcast today. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you, Lily. Thank you, thank you Ruby. Us. It was a pleasure. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So funny. <laughs> <laughs>